hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff and motion graphics then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to call it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now I am going to select my ellipse tool and I am going to delete this fill, I don't need any fill and for the stroke I am going to choose black color for the stroke. Uh, and stroke width I'm going to choose 20 and by holding shift I'm going to create one simple stroke like this now select this and press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically go to the ellipse ellipse path uh, not ellipse path but stroke and uh, instead of line cap butt cap I'm going to choose round cap and go to the add menu and choose trim path okay go to the trim path and let's make this end value 50 like this and increase the offset to 90 like this okay so we'll get something like this now uh, i'm going to select my ellipse tool over here and we will delete this stroke we don't need the stroke and we are going to choose black color for this fill by holding shift i'm going to create one simple ellipse like this now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center Go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now uh, select this ellipse press p for position right click and choose separate dimension select this and let's move this over here it should touch this line like this okay now after that right click new and create one null object which is obviously going to be at the center select this shape layer and we will make it apparent with this null one now we will select the shape layer, hit enter and let's call it as ball so we can easily define that this is ball. Now select this null object, press R for rotation, create one keyframe, zoom in a little bit. Let's go to around 20 frames and we will rotate it up to minus 180 degree maybe. Somewhere around like this. So if you see this, we will get this kind of animation. Let's move this animation to up to 10 frames like this now at this point i'm going to select this ball i'm going to press ctrl shift d to split this layer hit u press p for position like this and uh, we will select this ball and let's decrease uh, i mean gonna change this null object uh, we don't need any parenting for this ball create one keyframe at y position let's make this fit and let's go somewhere around one frames create an another keyframe I mean at one second and in middle of that we will move this y position keyframe somewhere around over here select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and one handle over here one handle over here select this and move one handle over here like this okay now after that to right click new and create another null object and this null object should be at the edge of this like this okay now we are going to select this shape layer uh, i mean this one and we will make it apparent with this topmost null object let's go over here select this null object press r for rotation create one keyframe go over here and we will make this minus 360 so what will happen we will get this complete rotation and select those keyframes and hit f9 okay so if you see this we will get something like this okay now select this and press p for position create one keyframe hit u go over here and now we will move this over here until 
it's going to touch proper the edge of this ball over here like this also select those keyframes and hit f9 like this so if you see this now you will get this kind of stuff okay now after that right click new and create one another null object which is going to be center over here select this hit enter and let's call it as me now those points who are not parent with anyone we will select those points then we will make it a parent with this main one over here now press ctrl r for rotation i mean not rotation but ruler and we will bring one line over here like this now select this main over here at this point i am going to press p create one keyframe go to around one second over here and we will bring somewhere around over here like this select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation okay now go over here press n uh, select all of them and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as animation and hit ok go inside this right click and trim com to work area go to the main animation over here now make sure that you are at the last point and press ctrl alt and t for time enable remapping create one keyframe and we will delete this last keyframe then alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this zoom out and let's increase the duration of this like this so if you see we are gonna get this animation continuously in the form of loop now we'll go inside this i'm going to select this layer hit ctrl d i'm going to change the stroke to white and uh, stroke width to 10 pixels like this so if you see we are going to get this kind of animation okay now select this and let's move this over here hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 and let's move this over here select both the layers hit ctrl d bring them at the top and simply move them over here again hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move them over here okay select all of them and let's try to adjust them like this okay now if you see this we are getting this animation like this but we don't want this animation like this so what we are going to do let's go inside this and as you guys know the animation is going to be in the form of loop at one second so i'm gonna go at one second and i'll hit n over here like this and now we will take a distance of 5 5 frames so select this with the help of open square bracket move this over here move this over here move this over here move this over here and move this over here and select all of them hold alt open square bracket to trim this up to this go over here and let's move this over here so now if i say this i'm gonna get this kind of animation okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation you can go inside this select all of them and enable their respective motion blur so along with this you will get this motion blur but uh, i would recommend not because we will get some weird stuff over here like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of weird looping animation inside of after effects